Prototyping is one of the main aspects of Project Rub. It also helps us to use our endless creativity. During Project Rub, we were able to identify real world problems in our homes, in our cities, like water scarcity and environmental issues by promoting innovative and inventive thinking. Then, we were able to identify solutions by following the processes of analyzing, thinking, designing, and then creating. Here, new ideas, thoughts, and discoveries come into being. We don't just say it here, we do it. Project Rub has given me the skills and abilities to engage positively with the made and designed world. I remember how to make a creative use of the resources provided to us and how to be innovative. Logical, creative, Project Rub has given me a direction. Project Rub encourages me to brainstorm unique ideas by doing intense research. It also includes many subjects which add to my overall learning and general knowledge. It also enables me to create, innovate and also enables the ability to design projects. I still remember the first time I started doing Project Trump. I would eagerly wait for DT blocks and fill the room with questions and new ideas. Over the years, in grade 7, we designed infographics to present research in hydroponics and in syntax. And in grade 8, we prioritize energy saving skills to build our own net zero energy homes. Whether we are brainstorming ideas, designing prototypes, or researching natural resources, we always use the subjects we have been provided with to create a perfect eco-friendly solution in our carefully stitched web of ideas. With the help of Project Rub, I think, I create, and I change. We apply the fifth habit, which is seek first to understand, then to be understood, while making these, I must say, amazing projects. We collaborate with each other, and we give each other's ideas and opinions. And the final product is made with all of those ideas, suggestions, and opinions taken in mind. Dream it. Believe it. Design it. Invent it. Achieve it.